high bear scapular elevation depression. When we get into the high bear uh, position, what we're going to be looking for is the shoulder blade shrug all the way up and pull all the way back down. So we're trying to get most of our motion from that shoulder blade, shoulder moves up towards the ear, and then down and away. So for the high bear, we're going to go into a knee straight position with the hips back. Easiest way to find it, rocking back into your heel as far as you can. Arms are outstretched with your uh, chest up, and you'll just press yourself back. From here, we want to get the knees straight. So if you can get your heels on the ground, excellent. If not, just have your heels up in the air a little bit. Big goal here, we want the hips back as far as we can get them. We want to feel tension on the back of the quads and the calves. From here, I'm going to shrug my shoulders towards my ears, pressing my butt back as far as I can. And then slowly, I'm going to pull my shoulder blades down my back, loading my hands a little bit. I want to feel the first finger really grab onto the ground and press down. You don't want to try and load with your hands up in the air with a gap between your fingers. So make sure your palms are completely flat, first knuckles pressing down as you go to pull your shoulders down and away from you, trying to make your uh, shoulders as wide as possible. Then from there, you press away again and then actively pull yourself down. It's not gonna be a huge motion here, making sure that you keep your weight pressing back away from you. Make sure you're not rocking back and forth at the hip here. Really try and get the motion from the shoulders like your head's gonna go right in between your hands. Press away, pull down from the other angle. So you can see what my shoulders are doing. I'm gonna shrug. So Shoulders come real close to my ears, and I'm going to pull the shoulders away from my ears, and then pull the shoulder blades down my back. Shoulder shrug, pull down and away from the ears. 